Hi everyone, uh, welcome to class. This is Remix Music, Art, and Culture at English V294 uh, for the summer session at Loyola University in New Orleans. Uh, my name is Tim Welsh and I'll be an instructor for this course. This is the first time I've taught this course. It's also going to be the first time I'm teaching online and the first time I've tried out video lectures. Uh, I'm going to try to put one of these up uh, at least once a week for you uh, to try and break up the amount of reading you have to do. I know when you have an online class and you're not able to meet uh, in flesh uh, or to set up uh, video conferences, it can be pretty monotonous having to uh, do all of the course discussion through text. Uh, so I'm hoping that this uh, is a, a good way to give you a little bit something else uh, to look at. Uh, I have a short uh, lecture for you. Uh, that's just a slideshow talking about the course, uh, some procedures, uh, some websites where to look for syllabi and things like that. Uh, unfortunately, I went a little long with the video I made for the other class, so this one uh, I'm going to do a little bit, a uh, little bit rougher <laughs> to try to get it done soon and get it up for you all. Uh, but uh, I hope you still find it helpful. Hey, if you have any questions, you'll be able to uh, email me or post them on the Google Plus site, and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. Uh, but for now, uh, onto the slideshow. Remix Music, Art, and Culture English V New Time. V294, summer 2014. So in this slideshow, uh, we're going to be looking at the syllabus, some uh, websites we'll be using, uh, making introductions on Google Plus, our first discussion, and uh, your first reading assignment, which is actually watching a video assignment. Syllabus, uh, so where to find it, you can get it on Laura. Uh, there's a link on the community page on Google Plus. Uh, there's also a, a link in the uh, course website. Uh, you should also find a copy in the Google Drive folder. Uh, on the syllabus, you're going to find basic outline information about the course uh, and the course policies. For the most part, everything is going to be conducted on Google+. Plus. So the syllabus it is a good standing document, but the most up-to-date information is going to be on Google+. Plus. So what to do with the syllabus right now, uh, please look it over. And if you have any questions, please post them to Google+, Plus using the support category or you can always email me. So a couple things from the syllabus that you may be interested in. Uh, there are three kinds of assignments that you're gonna be doing over the course of the semester. There's a little bit different from the syllabus you may have seen uh, earlier posted to Laura. Uh, so the first type of assignment you're gonna be doing is called a post. Uh, you're going to do one post a week. It's gonna be, be between 200 and 400 words. Uh, there are different forms that your post can take. It can ask a question share an example from outside of class and bring it into course discussion, explicate a quotation you find particularly interesting or difficult from the reading, uh, define a key term from the reading, or pose a theory about Remix from what you've been looking at or some examples you've seen. Second, uh, you're going to get uh, credit for your participation in class discussion. Uh, you're expected to do 300 or more words of uh, commenting, uh, extra posting, uh, participating in uh, collaborative activities, and so on. Basically, anything you do that isn't a post or a project uh, is going to count towards your discussion grade. Uh, and at the minimum, uh, I need you to do about 300 words uh, of discussion posting per week. Finally, uh, every two weeks, uh, you're going to have a project due. Uh, the projects uh, ask you to engage in uh, some core remix practices to think about uh, what they what they mean, uh, how they work, and uh, what kind of critical uh, thought and critical uh, activities uh, they can they can contribute to. So uh, the first is going to be a collage project. Uh, the second is a breakdown project. Uh, um, collage project is pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to make a collage of images uh, and reflect on it. Uh, second is going to be a breakdown. Uh, by which I mean you're going to find an example of a remix and then identify what's been mixed into it and talk about uh, what happens when all of those different media objects run into each other. Uh, for, uh, the third project is going to be a media journal. Uh, while we read DJ Spooky, I'm going to ask you to uh, pay attention to all the different media that you encounter over the course of a week and then write a reflection paper about that. And finally, the remix paper is going to be the major uh, project for the for the course, uh, although you're not going to be writing anything for it, it's all uh, assembling materials from secondaries, from second, well, I mean, 
from not you. <laughs> so, is it going to be a paper an argument about Remix Compose completely from uh, sources that aren't you? I hope that makes sense. It will when we get to it. Uh, weekly Rhythm, I don't really know what other term to use for this, uh, but basically this is how the weeks are going to go. Uh, on Monday, I'm going to have some sort of lecture up for you if it's a video like this, maybe some written notes, something like that. And then any assignments uh, for that week, uh, prompts for a project, uh, some discussion questions I'd like you to do, some direction I want to give you for your post, whatever it is, I'll, I'll have that up for you on Monday. Tuesday uh, is time I assume you're probably going to be using to work on your assignments, uh, which will be submitted on Wednesday. Uh, well, on Wednesday you'll be submitting your post. Uh, that's the question or definition, theory, and so on uh, that I mentioned before. And those are going to be due on Wednesday by 10 p.m. On Thursday, uh, I'm going to uh, give some sort of post uh, as a wrap-up or survey or debrief of what we've been doing over the week. Uh, basically, I'm going to see what we've been talking about and then make a post that, that takes the conversation in a new direction, sums up what we've been talking about, and so on. Uh, I'll also be available on Thursdays uh, via Google Hangout for uh, the equivalent of office hours. If multiple people want to get together and we can do a video version conference call kind, we can do that. We can also schedule those later, but we'll figure that out as we go. Uh, but the office hours will be via Hangout on Thursdays. Uh, Friday, uh, I'm asking you to have done at least 300 words of contribution to uh, class discussion. Uh, I'm going to be tallying them based on what you have done by 10 p.m. on Friday. So from... 10.01 p.m. the previous Friday up to 9.59 p.m. Uh, of the current week. That will be the block of time in which you'll have had to do 300 words of uh, commenting or uh, discussion posting and so on. Saturday, nothing's going to be assigned. And then Sunday uh, was going to be the day that you turn in your projects. And uh, like I said, projects are, projects are going to be due every other week. So for example, this Sunday you wouldn't have a project to turn in uh, this upcoming Sunday, but then the Sunday after that you would. Uh, so uh, hopefully having one weekend off and it gives you, clears you some space so you can uh, spend some extra time working on uh, your projects. Uh, so course websites, uh, there are a few we're going to be using, obviously because it's an online course. The first one is uh, timothyjwelsh.com slash sources slash courses slash uh, 14MV294. Uh, that's a more or less static page uh, that I'm going to keep up to date with the uh, most recent information about the course. Uh, you'll see the way Google Plus is set up, it's, gonna, it's a little bit harder to, to use that as a reference page or use that to do references. So uh, hopefully the course website uh, will be helpful as a sort of supplemental standalone informational site. Uh, Google Docs, if you haven't used them before, uh, Google uh, Docs is part of the, well, I guess they call it Google Drive now. Uh, Google Drive is their cloud storage uh, and also a suite of uh, Office applications. Uh, there's a, a word processing program like Microsoft Word, a PowerPoint program, a uh, Excel spreadsheet program, and so on. Uh, on Google Docs, I'm going to set up a bunch of folders, one for each week. In uh, the weekly folders, there are going to be the readings for that week, uh, any assignment prompts for that week, uh, and then a place where you can turn in any work for that week. So uh, you will go to Google Docs to find the assignments that you're doing and also to turn them in later. Uh, finally, Google Plus is going to be where we conduct the majority of class discussion. It's going to be more or less the classroom. A uh, place where you can ask questions, a place where I can uh, pose problems, present lectures, and so on. Uh, and I'm hoping that's going to be pretty easy to figure out. Uh, the goal with using Google Plus was to try something a little bit more intuitive than uh, I found uh, WordPress to be for some people. Um, Google Plus is really just a, if you've looked at it yet, it's really just a text box and you just put text in there. Because Google Plus may be new to some folks, I wanted to do a quick little walkthrough to show you what it looks like and how you get around there. Um, it seems that everyone has signed up already, so uh, 
I am in the process of adding you all to the uh, Google community site. Uh, once you get the invitation, you'll have to accept. Uh, once you've accepted and you come to your Google page, uh, over in the corner, you always have this little icon that represents you. If you click on this uh, nine boxes, you get your suite of Google tools, YouTube, where you're going to find videos like this one, uh, Google Plus, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and also this is where you get to your Google Drive. Uh, if you click on your Google Plus, it's actually going to bring you here. Uh, this is essentially your Facebook feed here in the middle. If you're not using Google Plus, none of this is going to be meaningful to you. Uh, if you click over, if you look over here in the upper hand corner, you have a menu, uh, and you want to pick communities. Once you pick communities, it'll give you a bunch of it things you are interested in. You may or may not be. Uh, the one that uh, I'd like you to be interested in is the remix music art and culture one. Hopefully, it'll set that out for you up there at the top. Once you click on that, uh, it'll bring you to the community page. Uh, you'll notice that there's not a whole lot here yet. Uh, it that's going to change as we uh, start adding uh, content, having discussions, you put up your posts, and so on. Uh, over here on the right, uh, there's a the, uh, little bit about the community, it's just the course description, but down here are some useful links for you. Uh, there's a link to the course documents in Google Drive, the course website that I uh, mentioned before, a link to the syllabus, that'll be the most up-to-date syllabus, and a link to the schedule. So if you click on the link to the schedule, I'd like to show you this really quickly. Uh, here's the course website and a essentially skeleton outline of what I kind of expect to happen on each day uh, and we'll sort of conduct day-to-day uh, -day with a little bit more detail as we go on uh, as this is the first time I've taught in an online setting I'm not really sure yet how much instruction needs to be put up in front and how much we can do as we go so uh, really going to be feeling this out for a little while, but we'll, we'll get the hang of it. Uh, down the center is what I expect to be doing on a partic particular day, and down on the right column here is what I expect you to be working on during that on the same day. Uh, so if you're looking for due dates for uh, different projects, if you're looking for when reading is going to happen, and so on, this is where you'd follow that out. Okay, so back to uh, the Google Plus page. Uh, over here on the left, see there is a list of different kinds of posts. These are post categories. Uh, when you make your post for the week on Wednesday, uh, you're going to have to pick one of these categories, and hopefully it's pretty obvious which one it refers to. If you're posting a question, some sort of extension that is bringing an outside, uh, some sort of outside media uh, into the class discussion, explication, taking some part of a quote or some part of a remix, uh, some part from the text, and, and sort of breaking it apart and explaining what it means, uh, defining a text, posing a theory, and so on. Hopefully these are these are uh, clear, and if we need others, I can add others, or if some of these don't work, then we can get rid of them. We'll also be giving announcements, making lectures, posting prompts, and so on. Uh, so to make a post, it's very simple. Uh, all you have to do is click in this little box, uh, so I'll show you that again. You click in the box where it says share what's new and you just type. Uh, once you're finished, you'll have to pick a category. We'll say that's an announcement. <laughs> uh, you could also attach photos, links, and videos. Uh, events too, I guess, if, if you want to set up some online get-togethers. Uh, and then when you're finished, you just click share. And there it shows up. Uh, and then once you come to the site, you'll notice a bunch of posts from uh, your classmates, uh, ones that you can, if, if you, there are some that you want to comment on, just click add a comment, and then you can type comments in the box. The plus one you may note as well, that's uh, Google's equivalent to a like button on Facebook. Uh, you can use it or not, I, I doesn't really make a difference to me. Uh, if you make a mistake or you don't like how things turned out, you can always edit and add more. Oh. Or you can delete it just by clicking this X. If you need to edit your post, uh, you want to go to edit post. You can delete the post. You can link to it. So say that someone made a really good comment 
a while ago, and then you want to refer to it for something that happened in week two, maybe, and it's week seven, uh, you can link to it. Uh, or you can delete it like I'm going to do now. You want to be careful with those options, uh, deleting and editing posts. If you edit something that's been up for a while, uh, it's usually courteous to note that you've made an edit or where the edits have been made. Uh, and deleting, you want to be careful because uh, I'm only going to be looking at tallying things once, so if you delete something, I may not know that it was there. So just be careful. Uh, make sure you get credit for the content you're putting up. Uh, and I'm hoping that this is a really fluid and, and intuitive way to conduct a discussion. Uh, if it's not, I'd be welcome to hear feedback. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to hear feedback on that, uh, but this is pretty much what we're going to go with for this semester, and so um, <laughs> we'll be troubleshooting it as we go. Uh, I think it'll be fine, though. I, I think it's really simple, and that was what I was looking for. So now that you've seen uh, Google Plus in action, you can uh, try it for yourself. And please go to the Google Plus page uh, for our community and write a short post introducing yourself to a class, just who you are and perhaps why you're interested in this course. Also, it's time to start our first discussion. Uh, I'll have a post uh, stuck at the top for you, uh, pinned to the top there, with our first discussion question, really just get us kicked off and going. Uh, so please add your answers as a comment to that discussion post. Uh, finally, uh, you can find your readings for this week in the folder marked week one in Google Drive. Uh, the first thing I'd like you to do is please watch the video of Lawrence Lessig uh, talking about Remix at the Computer History Museum. Uh, that will be a link to a Blip TV uh, page. Uh, that link will be also, uh, there is a shortcut in the Google Drive. Uh, I'll post it to the Google Plus as well. Uh, tomorrow I'll have a lecture posted including uh, an introduction about the course, why I decided to do this, and uh, a little uh, introductory material about the reading for this week uh, to, to frame your engagement with it. Uh, if you want to wait until you see that, until you start working on uh, your readings or watch the video, uh, that's up to you. Uh, it's not a whole lot this week. It's uh, just the Lawrence Lessing video, which is about an hour long uh, lecture. It's more entertaining than it sounds. Uh, and then uh, three definitions from the Johns Hopkins uh, Guide to Digital Media uh, Remix, Sampling, and Mashup. Again, all of those are going to be uh, in Google Drive for you. Finally, I want to thank you for signing up for this course. Uh, I'm really excited to get to teach this and to get to play around with uh, the online space. If you have any questions, please post them to Google Plus uh, under the su support category. Uh, I'm sure there are other people who have the same kinds of questions, or of course you can always email me. Uh, but again, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you on the internet.